Hi guys, it's Lee Janeiro. I'm back with another video. I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and everyone who keeps coming back each time I post a new video. So today is my random Saturday. And full disclosure, you're going to hear me say this at the end of the video. I couldn't remember if I recorded an intro. <laughs> so I'm recording it now. <laughs> um, so... I'm wearing my Simplicity 93, not, uh, 9337. Um, I think I did a video on this. I, I'm sure. I, I know I did. Several. Because <laughs> it was during Vlogmas and right before Vlogmas. I know I did. Anyway, um, that's what I have on today. It's very comfortable. Um, so in this video, I'll be doing a number of things. I will be um, cutting these two patterns i'm cutting the fabric for these two patterns new look 6439 and new look 6706 i picked out some fabric and i'll show you that probably in the next clip i think um this is not a video of me just music and cutting fabric there's more stuff in this video i do more talking in the video so i'll be cutting something and then i'll come in and i'll talk and then i'll cut something else and then i'll come in and i'll talk um, so yeah, this is my random Saturday. I'm trying to get back in the groove. I think, I think I'm back. I think I'm back. <laughs> um, so I won't be doing any sewing in this video. I just wanted to get the patterns cut and prepped. Um, so when I get ready to sew, I don't have to worry about that part of it. Um, I think I make, uh, I make a shirt for my mom in this video, not from start to finish. I just show you the shirt basically um what else do i do in this video i do some other stuff in this video <laughs> but i haven't edited it yet so i can't remember um but yeah so let's get started with this my random saturday all right so let's talk about what i'm going to try to do uh, with these patterns I posted two patterns in, on, the on the community tab about what I wanted to try and make um, for the upcoming fall season. Well, fall is here. <laughs> um, the weather bounces back and forth, so it is what it is. Anyway, um, so this is the new look pattern, and it's 6706. And so I found this brown ponty knit in my stash um so the pattern says i'm gonna need two and a half yards this is two and a quarter so i'm hoping because it's from fine fabrics that is wide enough where i can maneuver and get this cut out so we'll see how that works i'll let y'all know how it goes and now let me show you what i picked for the next pattern all right, so for this new look 6439, this top and pants. So I got this for the top. This is a fabric I got from Fine Fabrics. It feels, it's a knit fabric, but it has like a suede type feel to it. Um, and then I'm going to use this um, for the pants. This is some knit fabric that I got from walmart in one of their bundles two yards for two dollars then this remnant i got from fine fabrics <laughs> i got this remnant from five fabrics as well these this fabric is going to be the pants and it is a knit fabric as well this fit actually this feels more like a it's a knit but it feels more it feels more like a scuba knit but I have to see when I open it up. And then this, these will be the pants. This will be the top. Um, so hopefully this will all work out for me and I can get these made this weekend.
Okay, so I am for this new look. Um, sixty-four thirty-nine. I don't want the V-neck, but I also don't want the high-low um, part. So I'm I'm doing view. <laughs> so let's see. I'm doing view B without the high low um, so I gotta see if I can do some maneuvering because I just want a, a, a y'all know what I'm trying to say <laughs> I want a um, just a even hem around my top alright so I've already cut out the front piece for B um, which is this piece right here that I that y'all just saw me cut out in the clip. Um, this is the neck band. Put this over here before I lose it. Um, so this is the top part of the back bodice. All right, and the back bodice has that high low hem. Looking for my pattern wakes. The back bodice has that high low hem, and I don't want that. Right, so let me show you what it looks like. So this is the top part of the back bodice, and then this is the bottom part of the back bodice, which you would cut on the fold, and then you would gather this, and then it would be a high low. I don't want that. Um, so what I'm going to try to do, and I hope I hope this works out. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can just use um, the front piece to just cut the rest of the um, bodice. All right, I'm cutting it close down here, but that's fine. How I figure it out. All right, so let's get to. Let's see what we got here. I don't know which scissors I like cutting with better. <laughs> Let's see. The only way I'm going to know if it works out is when I make it and put it on and it fits okay. Um. <laughs> take the front bodice piece and And just cut the wrist like that. So we'll see when I finish. And I sew it up if it did right. Because I didn't want the V-neck. That's the part I did not want. I didn't want the V-neck. Alright, so I just wanted to sit, let them um, show y'all what I did to kind of change up this top. 
All right, so before I cut out um, the other new look pattern, I uh, need to show you some fabric that I got a while ago. Um, my friend <laughs> gifted me a gift card. Um, uh, funny story. She wanted me to meet her at Fine Fabrics, but I was being lazy bones. <laughs> and I didn't want to drive to Fine Fabrics, so she got me a gift card. <laughs> and I used it for, you know, as a birthday gift. Um, and I got myself some fabric uh, from fabric.com, which is now Amazon. It's on Amazon now. Um, so I'm guessing uh, when you go on fabric.com and you pick out your fabric, you choose your fabric, it takes you to Amazon and you check out through Amazon and everything like that. Um, so yeah, um, fabric.com I believe is located in Atlanta. Um, because when I used to order from them in the past, I, I think it, it used to get here super quick. So I think they're somewhere here in Atlanta. But anyway, they're now an Amazon company. So I got two fabrics. So let me show you what I got. This first one is a rayon stretch jersey knit solid. Right. And it is. I'm trying to see if it says what color. I don't think it does. Ah, dark eggplant. So this is dark eggplant. Right. And it's some jersey knit. And I got I don't remember how many yards I got. <laughs> I think I got three yards. Three yards is usually my number um, for fabric that I get. So I got that. And I also got me some. <laughs> I have stuff everywhere. If you can see what it looks like in the background. So the way they roll this fabric, the actual print is on the other side. But uh, if you've been with me for a long time, you know that I um, used to sew with this fabric all the time. Um... It's a faux, black faux leather gator. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So that's what it is. It's the black faux leather gator. I'm not going to unwrap it um, um, all the way. Um, because I want to keep it straight on the roll. But it's the black faux leather gator that I used to... Um, make bags with all the time so i ran out i ran out a while ago and i've been meaning to go back on the site and get me some more and just hadn't had a chance to um um so yeah those are my two fabrics that i got for my birthday from my gift card from my friend <laughs> all right so um Next up, I have to also make a shirt for my mom. I already got it pulled up on Cricut Design Space over there in the corner. <laughs> I'm pointing the wrong direction. Um, she wanted it on a white shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and lint roll this shirt so that part will be done. You know, you always lint roll your shirts um, when you're doing vinyl and sublimation. Um, so, I need to go ahead and cut out the vinyl. But first, I have to find the vinyl. <laughs> I asked her what color she wanted. She said burgundy. So, let me go shop my stash of vinyl and see what I have. All right, so looking through my stash, this is the closest I have to burgundy. It is holographic. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. This is my Cricut uh, cutter. I have one by um, Fiskars. That is not Fiskars, I don't know what brand that is. <laughs> but I use the other one a lot for paper, so. I bought this a while ago from um, 
Joanne's, it was on clearance. So, um, so I'm going to use this one um, for vinyl and then use the other one for paper, for my stickers, basically. Which I think I need to change the blade in the other one. I can't remember if I ordered one. Um, uh, where are my paper scissors? Yeah, I got a lot going on in this room at this moment. Um. <laughs> It's just one little spot and I don't want to put it back through and mess it up. All right. So I always try when I cut vinyl and I have a lot left, I try to go ahead and put it up. bin so that is one less thing I have sitting around that's why I didn't cut through I didn't take the thing off <laughs> silly me all right always always when you are cutting vinyl you put the shiny side face down on the mat Cricut Design Space, you always mirror your image. I've told you all this before in different videos. Always line your vinyl up on your mat as straight as you can to avoid any cut areas, cut error, errors. So I just had to put the right material in Cricut Design Space. And my Cricut should be raring to go. All right, so once I um, press this on my heat press, I will show you what the shirt looks like. All right, so now the top of my head cut off. <laughs> so y'all know I always show y'all my mishaps, right? Um, so I put it on the holographic vinyl setting. I don't know if that's the issue or um, I have my I have my sticker printing blade, my sticker cutting blade in my machine, and this is what happened. It cut too deep in the vinyl. The T and the E still on the mat. <laughs> so um, I am. Other than that, it cut fine. It just cut through deep, too deep. So I'm gonna have to redo this. I'm got, I got to change the blade and recut this vinyl. All right, so I um, did change my blade and it cut right that time. <laughs> that sticker cutting blade is so sharp. I've been trying to, I thought it'd be dull by now, but it is not. It'd be cutting through my stick of paper and everything. So, here's the shirt. All right. I think next time I will probably use a different font. And I will also probably make the words bigger. Well, I'm just going to fold this. 
and get ready to package it up so I can take it to the post office on Monday. All right, so now I'm gonna cut out that other pattern. Okay, so I was a little worried that um I wasn't gonna have enough fabric, but this remnant said two and a quarter. I think this was three yards at least because I have every pattern piece on here except the sleeve um, and I have plenty of room to cut out the sleeve and probably get another like tank top or something <laughs> I have a ton of fabric so yeah um more than enough fabric to cut out this um new look 6706 so that's what I'm gonna do Outfit that I plan for this. Um, I'll cut out the other one later. So I will be doing a sew along for this one. I'll be doing view A here at the top with the hoodie. Um, I'm hoping that I can get this out by Friday. Um, I hope. <laughs> now this one, um, wasn't sure if I was going to do a sew along for it. I'll let you all decide in the comments. And reason being is because I made the pants in my making my Dragon Con outfits video. I made the pants. And then the top is just a regular um, sew up the shoulder seams, add the sleeve, sew down the side seam. <laughs> so I'll let you guys decide in the comments. If you uh, say in the comments you want to sew along, I will do a sew along. Um, that will probably go up next week if you say yes. All right, so got the outfits cut out. I'm getting hungry. I'm in the mood for chili, so I think I'm gonna make myself some chili. I'm not gonna show my I'm not gonna show me cooking or eating. <laughs> um, only other thing I wanted to show you was um a sticker kit I'm working on. So um I closed my Shopify shop, the one where I had my t-shirts and tote bags and different things on like that. Um, because I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what I want to be when I grow up. So I definitely want to do stickers. So I am gonna open up um, an Etsy shop. And I know I've been talking about an Etsy shop for years now, but I'm actually going to do it this time. <laughs> the dilemma I'm having is, I don't know if I wanna do printable stickers where people can um, print out the stickers and cut them themselves. Um, and with the type of stickers that I make, you don't have to have a cutting machine to cut these stickers. You can cut them with scissors. Just print them on sticker paper and cut them with scissors. Or if you have a silhouette or a um, Cricut, you can um, cut them on your silhouette or Cricut. I, I, 
I will definitely have principles in the shop. Um, so I'm not trying to decide whether I want to do them or not. Um, decide what, I'm trying to decide whether I want to print my stickers and mail them um, as well as do principles. But there will definitely be principles in the shop. Um, don't have a date when I'm going to open this shop. <laughs> I'm just testing out product. I have two products ready to go already. They are me printing and shipping them out. Um, but I definitely want to do printable stickers where people can, they can order them, print and cut them themselves, and they can use the stickers as many times as they want to. I personally love printable sticker shops. I stay on Etsy <laughs> downloading, buying and downloading printable stickers for my planning. Um, so, um, but here's the sticker kit that I've come up with. Um, so it's uh, one that you can use in your planner. It's one that you can use in your journal. Um, it's more like a journaling kit, but you can definitely use it in a planner. Um, I'll do a demonstration of it. Um, but you have your Monday through Sunday, your to-do goals and gratitude, and then some um, flag stickers, um, some dots, some accessories here, quotes, and you recognize this girl? <laughs> um, a weekly habit tracker and then some more like journaling deco here. Um, and then a checklist that if you want to do a to-do list that week. I'll do a demonstration and put it at the end of the video on how to use these stickers. Um, but I had someone on Fiverr. I sent them some of my sewing makes. Well, I sent them pictures of me um, in some of my sewing makes. And um, this is a Vogue top. I don't remember the name of it, but the pants I got from um, New York and Company. But this is a Vogue top that I made. And I took some photos and, and for my blog when I was blogging heavy. And I sent it over to Fiverr and um, they came back with that for me. Um, so I'm pleased. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is the sticker kit that I am working on right now. And I'm also working on some more. Um, but yeah, that's what I got going on for the rest of the day. So I'm definitely doing a sew along on the new look 6706. And um, I'll let you tell me about the 6439, whether you want to sew along for it or not. Um, I can't even remember if I did an intro for this video. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, you might say intro for this video. You might not. I just, I, to be honest, I think I just turned on my camera and started recording. To be honest, I, I just really don't remember if I did an intro. Anyway, um, that is it for this video. Um, I did look up a question. I'm getting, I'm getting real slack on the question of the day. I really am. Question of the day. Have you checked out my planning channel? I, I do recognize that that is not everybody's cup of tea, but just curious to know if you checked out my planning channel. I have been very consistent in my planner. I think I have planned every week in this planner, rightfully so, because that planner cost me like $65. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think I planned every single week um, and I plan on planning for the rest of the year in it. I even got the stickers picked out that I'm going to um, use for the rest of the year. So, yay for me. Um, but, yeah, question of the day. Have you checked out my planning channel? If not, why not? <laughs> I won't be offended if you tell me it's not your thing. I, I do understand. There are several things here on YouTube that are not my thing, and I don't watch. Um, so, yes. All right. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. And I will see you in the next one.